down in the Florida Keys actually fishing the Bay Hond Bridge and I am hooked up on a tarpon. We literally just got to the spot five minutes ago, put the anchor down and sure enough hooked up on my first drift, just drifting back the, the little bait, actually the little crab for like 30 seconds, hooked up on a tarpon. Reel right down to the water. Got it. Got it. Yep. All right, I've officially caught this tarpon. I'll probably say we're 10, 15 minutes into the fight, but I officially caught him because I just got the leader through the tip of the rod. And that's an official tournament catch in a tarpon tournament. So I officially caught this fish. Now it's just a matter of actually getting him both side and getting up close and personal with this beast. here by the side of the boat probably like a 60 70 pounder but still an awesome fish and uh, we're gonna go catch some more but I'm gonna get a picture and check out this fish real quick but he's right here just landed a first fish five minutes into fishing sick that was totally epic with that fish and we had just anchored up and first drift with my crab back, instantly hooked up to that fish. We landed him in a good amount of time as well, got some awesome pictures, and uh, I can't believe that happened. We actually got the fish boat side. That's the first tarpon I've ever been able to get boat side, so that was really cool. And now we're about an hour or two into our drift, and I think it had one or two other bites, but the tarpon spit the bait before I could even get tight on the fish. Um, so now we're just, we moved around a little bit on this bridge and just kind of checking our, our radar, our sonar, and seeing our depth, I'm sorry, our depth finder, and seeing, you know, where the fish are. So uh, we're just continuing the fish, drifting back our crab, and hopefully we can get another one here real soon. Stay vigilant. I'm gonna jump again. That was a huge jump. Hooked up on the second fish now. It's been, a, I would say, a, like an hour or two since the last fish we hooked. And I was actually kind of looked to the side and actually like hooked up the fish with not paying attention. So you gotta be looking at your line at all times, that's for sure. Uh, but this fish is screaming the reel, smoking it. And he did two huge jumps. The first jump, he did like a backflip. It was so cool. So let's see if we can get this fish to the boat. Also saw a monster 14-foot hammerhead shark 
that is around in this area and wants to eat our tarpon. Fish is right here. I'm pretty sure it's much bigger than the first one I hooked. But uh, we got him close, so maybe he'll put on an epic show for us and jump a couple more times. But uh, this is awesome. We've been watching boats all around us hook up too. So it was finally our turn. Second fish of the day. Two for two, got the leader over here. So we have officially caught this fish now. Now we're just gonna try to get him boat side. It's probably about the same size fish as the first one. Maybe a little smaller, still a good fish, but they're putting up a great fight. This fish is not giving up. weighs as much as me but uh, he put up one heck of a fight look at this guy he's just a monster sardine but and no for those of you who are asking you cannot eat these fish it's highly re restricted and prohibited you have to catch and release only and you're not even allowed to bring these fish in the boat so they're protected and uh, this is just for sport fishing pretty much and this is awesome my second tarpon ever go ahead and take him by the lip and I'm gonna okay. take the hook out and you can let him go okay I'm gonna put the boat in gear and drag him for a second. Okay. Check him out. All right, we're gonna let him go. He's gonna put the boat in gear. I'm just gonna let him go. Oh, he already shook off. Nice. quite a few hours since we've talked to you guys but uh, we're gonna wrap it up our day you can see the Sun is setting and there's a lot lower light right now but basically after we caught that fish the tide had really slowed down and we tried a few more drifts but no luck so uh, we untied and headed back to our dock which is right here and uh, we had to do a bunch of stuff today we actually went to lunch together and then we ran around looking for crabs that we need for bait tomorrow for tarpon fishing but a totally epic day. Never got a tarp into the boat, so that was epic. But not only one, two tarp into the boat. And uh, those fish really fight. So I'm really looking forward to doing more tarpon fishing. We're basically ready to go. And um, I just want to give a big shout out to Captain Kevin Rowley. Thank you again for putting us on the fish. And uh, Captain Kevin Rowley, you can check him out. The description He'll be in the description below. Tighten up charters out of Big Pine Key here in Florida Keys. Um, so you can check him out and book him. He's an excellent captain and he knows all types of fishing, so he will put you on the fish. But um, we are got our boat just in the water, so we're ready to roll. Tomorrow we're going to be going by ourselves, just Brian and I. So we're really looking forward to that. Hopefully we can get a tarpon on our own. I think we can. We've got the right bait um, and we're going to get rigged up tonight, so we're going to get all ready to go. So you guys need to tune in to the next video that's going to be on this channel. Um, but yeah, cheers. <laughs> and uh, follow your dream and keep on catching.